I'm a former visa officer and visa applicants ask me all the time about quotas. Is there a certain number of visas that can be issued and a certain number that have to be denied? Can a certain number of students from my country get their visa? And then the visa officers, once they've issued that number, do they, do they have to refuse the rest of them? How about my university? Can the visa officers only issue a certain number of visas to my university and then they have to refuse the rest? Is that why my visa is getting refused while other people's visa got issued? The answer to that, with regards to all quotas at the visa interview, the answer is that no, there are no quotas that are affecting your issuance. If you qualify for the visa, and by qualify, I mean you convince the visa officer that you qualify. If you're able to do that, then the visa officer can issue you your visa no matter what. There's no limit. There's no limit on F visas. There's no limit on F visas to your school. There's no limit on people from your country to get F visas. You will get your visa if you're able to convince the visa officer that you are qualified. The quota is a myth that you might read about somewhere else on the internet or hear someone else telling you about that does not exist. There are many people that for some reason don't believe me when I tell them this. They think that for some reason I'm, I might be giving them information that's not true. I worked in the US embassies and consulates around the world for six years doing over 60,000 visa interviews. The network of visa officers at Argo, including over 20 officers that have worked in over 30 countries, speaking over 10 languages, and having adjudicated over 1 million visas, will all back me up when I tell you that there are no quotas. So, the quota myth, I think, helps justify to some people why they might feel like they've gotten refused. It's a way to justify it that in a way that doesn't blame you. Oh, it wasn't my fault. I did everything right at the visa interview, but I was refused because there was a quota. The quota is what got me refused, not anything that I did at the visa interview. Now I'm gonna give you some good news and bad news. The good news is that that's not true. The quota does not apply to any of these, these visas that you're applying for at the visa window. Now here's the bad news. It is on you. It's your responsibility for why you got refused your visa because the visa officer is going to make a decision based on whatever knowledge they have about your case. That's going to come from the DS-160, how you fill that out, and that's going to come from you telling your story, relating your qualifications to the visa officer. So if the visa officer is not convinced that you are qualified for the visa, you should take responsibility for that. Now, that might make you feel like you, you did a poor job in your visa interview, but I hope that that can serve as an inspiration, as motivation to prepare better for the next time. Because in the next visa interview, you do have the power, the, you have the ability, you have the opportunity to give them information which will change their mind. Now, if someone's going to come at me and, with, and talk about some technicalities about quotas, let's address that. Yes, there are quotas for diversity visas. There are quotas for H-1Bs. There are quotas for some of the immigrant visas, the relationship-based immigrant visas. But that happens far before the visa interview stage. Those quotas are enforced at the petition stage. So the H-1B lottery, as it's known, it's a quota system. There are only a certain number of H-1Bs that are going to be allotted each year. The same for diversity visas per country each year. Now that quota does exist, but that happens when you apply, when you enter the DV lottery online each year, when uh, your company submits an H-1B petition on your behalf, that's when that quota is applied. By the time you arrive at the visa window, at the embassy or consulate, and you're standing there in front of the visa officer, the quota has already been passed. You've already been selected. You've already fallen within that quota for the H-1B or for the DV or whatever immigrant visa that you're applying for, you've already fallen within that quota and you can get your visa issued. For all the other visas, B1, B2, F1, J1, uh, M1, all the other non-immigrant visas, there's no quota that is going to restrict you from getting your visa. So the great news is there's no quota. You can qualify for the visa and get issued no matter how many people from your country or from your school or F1 visas have already been issued. That to me is empowering. 
that thought that there's nothing restricting me from getting the visa except myself. If I prepare well, I can go into the visa interview, convince the visa officer and get my visa issued. That's the mindset that you need, that this is within your control, that you can do things, you can prepare, you can invest in preparation to get your visa issued because how you perform, how you relate your qualifications in the visa interview is important and that is really the only input that's going into the decision the visa officer is making to issue or deny your visa.